third person double up. Mobile, the Buff Bunny Mobile. That's actually Russ's mobile. Where's our little whip? There it is. Right, Alpha Lee Jim. Hi, see you in a bit. Darling, you send me. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. Updates, team. So we're flying indirect on the way back. We've got to go. To Canada, Toronto, there we're in Toronto for two hours, then to Heathrow. We've so pulled up, luckily we got here early because we wanted to watch the football. We've got here early and they said that you need a, what is it, ads? An ETA for Canada. Even though we're not leaving the airport, we still need to apply for this ETA and it can take up to 72 hours to be approved. So we've got four hours till our flight. And if it doesn't get approved for then, we're stuck in Texas. But I'm sure it'll be alright, so fingers crossed, I'm just gonna get stopped now and try and find somewhere we'll some football. Oh, lucky we come early, Ads. Not ideal. Once again, as his famous statement, not ideal. Look what we found then team. In the airport, two of my favourite things, dead opposite. Stops and blaze okay guys we are totally winging this we've got no screen no idea if we're on but i think we will be and we're at the airport we've got about an hour and a bit until our first flight and we decided that we're going to talk about our favorite bits of equipment for training at our fleet so if any of you are going to go definitely jump on these bits of equipment and give them a try so we're going to do one for push each one for pull each and one for legs each Right, let's start with legs. You go first. We've got a hack squat, grey one, you know. Well, I'm going to overlay some footage of us using them because there's about 100 hack squats in the gym. Yeah, you know what I mean, though, the grey one. The, it was really smooth, wasn't it? Yeah. Really well padded. It was like a high incline on your feet. Is it slightly curved? Yeah. And could move your feet and could go close, wide, plate loaded. Plate loaded, yeah. Very good. Um, for me, legs, I really like the single leg hamstring curl. Stood up one. Stood up one. Because um, you could really focus on controlling the negative. And I've never done a stood up one actually standing up. So that's really good. But I will just quickly add in the calf press, the little rotation one. 
That was really nice. I just thought it was good for Jack. It's great for us because we've got massive calves. So. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just made them even bigger. He, that was, he, I mean, they were just popping. Popping. In new jeans because my calves don't fit into By the way, having them caramel, so they're, they're pretty tidy. Right. Push. Go. Push. How about yours could be the same one? That, that chest press one with the two different handles. Mm -hmm. uh, machine plate. In front of the mirror. Machine one, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, so it from you, I this wasn't, it. it's not a plate loaded one, but oh my god, it is the, the angle you were pushing up, was really good. In, that was my favourite machine in the whole of Athlete. The best thing, the contraction on it, on your incline, you wouldn't, like, you were stuck, you were locked in, just popping it. The contraction was unreal, the movement was perfect, the, pain of, the motion was banging. That was 100% my favourite, but... Uh, as a second one, because you've already said that. What a life push. Okay, the seated tricep extension on the cable. That was really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that good, was good as well. That's more arms than the triceps. Yeah. You were doing a push day. Yeah. So that was they, they were both good. And they've got so many plate loaded machines that are wicked anyway. I think plate loaded machines are the best machines. Okay. Right, pull. Pull. So there's two that stick to mind here. I'll go first. Super naked grip, uh, reverse pull down. Uh, it was really good because the second you put your legs under, you'd kick the knee thing, it would lock you in. And then it was plate loaded, you could do it single hand, you could do it with a rotation, or you could do it two handed together. Really, really good rotation, really good squeeze. Yeah. That was my favourite. I reckon mine was the like seated row, but with the, like, the little grip the little one you twisted in your hands with a circle yeah the circular yeah. the semi circle so we only filmed one clip of that me doing it in slow mo but that that grip actually that's amazing the, the grip was what made it good. yeah yeah that that and my grips are awesome yeah so yeah that um, but I've never seen it, that grip before so basically it's right. a circular thing with hands in it and you could rotate, so rotate with so it rotate so you could like oh, yeah, that was a good shout I like that one yeah um and then is there any other that really stick out of? I like that bicep curl when you were like higher up and you were curling kind of like... Uh, was that the one that the yeah, elbows were slightly yeah, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Angle. Because like you said, the yeah, elbows were... You Different didn't angle. move. Yeah. Locked in. But Alfley as a whole has so many great bits of equipment. When we spoke to Christian yesterday, it's actually like, oh, because the gym's done so well this weekend. We're going to get five new machines. We're going to get five new machines. So we're like, oh, we right, we'll, back back. we'll be back, back next month then. Next month. <laughs> I don't know if the bank account would be that. Yeah, definitely not. But yeah, so if you're heading to our fleet, that's our recommendations for push pull and legs machines that you have to use. Right. Let's do some more time lapse at the airport, I suppose. Darling. Okay, and just like that, we are back here at DSX, wrapping up the Texas Daily Vlogs. So, I hope you've enjoyed these Texas Daily Vlogs. I've absolutely had a ball making them. And really, really good engagement on all the posts. Really, really good subscriber level coming up. So, I've loved making them. Massive shout out to Azzy for having a wicked trip because that was unreal. So much better this year having a car. That was really, really helpful. But yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that trip. May there be many, many more. And shout out to all my new subscribers and everyone that's been watching the videos because you guys are what motivate me to go and do these trips and and uh, yeah, keep making videos. So the daily vlogs were very, very successful. If you enjoyed daily vlogging, put the thumbs up button. Like I say, I'm back for literally just not even two whole days and then I head out to Spain with Beth, Sam and Immy. So I'm definitely gonna be filming out there. Probably not daily vlogs, but I might try and film every other day. If you wanna see that, let me know in the comments. But for now, I've got to head to PT. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed daily vlogs. I'm wrapping it all up and I'll see you in the next one.